Ooh. We're back. We are indeed. We are back. It's me, Lil Joker again. And Holly Sheets, my first time on the uh, feed mic here yeah. today. We're gonna go. We're gonna work well together. I know this lady. We are. We're currently yeah. hugging. I know you can't see this, but we're hugging as we are announcing. So it's going to be a good game for you guys. We have got Argentina playing against the Netherlands. This is the last game today here on the Roller Derby City track. Yep. And I think it's going to be a good one. Now, there's a couple of things that we're trying to, to work out for you. The winner of this game will play France tomorrow, not um, France playing England, as we were told earlier. So the winner of this game will be playing France. It is Australia who are playing England tomorrow. The loser of this game, this is where it gets confusing, is going to play the winner of tomorrow's 12 noon bout. Yep. That could either be Sweden or depending on who is second place in the Finland Wales game that is currently taking place yep. over on the quad skates shop track. I can't quite right see now. the score. It's looking in favour for Wales. Wales. Yep. So I think it might be Finland, but we can't say anything until it is obviously yep. all done. So lots and lots to play for here today. Yeah. Winner will be playing against France. The loser will be playing Sweden, Finland or Wales. Yeah, as we know, anything can happen in Roller Derby. Anything does. Anything everything happen. does happen in Roller Derby. So the skaters have gone through their kit checks and we are just waiting for them to make their way onto the track. We have the Netherlands playing in that glorious bright orange. Yeah. I'll just run through their roster for you. We have zero, Jimmy Fallon. Uh, number zero three, Fairy Godfather. Number one one, Monkey Chopper. One one four, Rip Snorter. One uh, F, Untitled Russian. Number two, Animal. Number three, one four one, Mastermind. Number 42, Kirk Ramit. 43, Halogen. 505 Roland Reckless. Number 666 Nocturnal Damage. 747 Captain Borderline. 8888 Ben Van Hurt. And number 981 Rudy Cartel. And from Argentina, we have number 10 uh, Kiss Victor. Number 28 Sanchez. Number 5 Optimus Quad. 666 The Beast. Number 8 LP. Uh, he had a phenomenal <laughs> the first game yes. against um, England in the first game. 930 Guevara, that's it. <laughs> uh, 99 Nino Acido, and we have D2, which is Sir R2. So if you say the name properly, it's Sir, Sir R2, R2 D2. D2. Fantastic there. Yes, Argentina having brought over the smallest squad to the men's roller derby. In, in numbers and in size yes, as well. They, they, I mean, we have currently standing on that jam line, Sarah R2-D2, and he's quite a tiny little lad, which I can relate to. <laughs> yes. It's I, I can relate to that. It's not about the size, is it? It's about how you play the game. Yep. So Argentina on a shorter roster than the rest of the teams, but they're not letting that hold them back. They're yeah. going to be putting everything they can into this game today. What we read out is what they brought. That is exactly it. All they have, and they're going to use every person every single time. Okay, we are now ready to just about get started. Waiting for those last few seconds on the uh, period clock to work their way down before we start off here. Just been handed the final score for the uh, Finland Wales. Wales taking the victory 107 to 35. What does that mean for tomorrow? That means tomorrow the loser of this game will play either Sweden or Finland. Uh -huh. So they'll play either Sweden or Finland. Sweden and Finland will be playing at 12 noon. The winner of that bout will be playing the loser of this bout here. So now we've got all of those uh, intricate logistics parts out of the way, we can now concentrate back on the game that we've got here at hand. Can't quite see which skater it is from the Netherlands lining up on the jam line. As we've said before, it's quite dark in this room here now. The feed is looking nice and shiny bright. It's very hard for us to make it out. It is 1F, which is untitled Russian on the jam line for the Netherlands, Team Netherlands. And as Jam we said before, so R2-D2 for Argentina. Yeah. Jammers have been released. A very slow start to the game. Both jammers trying to size each other up. And we have, oh, we have a skater going down turn one. And R2D2 gets out. 
We've picks had. up Lee Jammer and we have a cut track being called on Untitled Russian. Untitled Russian making his way to the box. He was hit to the inside and unfortunately cut through that apex as he was trying to stop himself and get back on track. So Untitled Russian out. Right, where are we going? Oh, we have... Uh, sorry, I totally missed that because we got some officials. Kind of, we can't see some of the track, but um, RGD2 going to the penalty box. Yep, so we've had a Jana switch over in the meantime. And again, and we have so. a back block penalty there on Untitled Russian. So again, the Jana switch over. Now we have just been informed that the lighting here actually in the venue is quite dark. We've got more officials around the track than we normally would do because of the, the state of the lighting. Um, it is causing uh, a few problems here for us as the analysis, and I believe it is making a bit of a problem for the um, skaters too. So there are more officials around the track than you would normally have in a game. We're going to go to our screen for a lot of the footage, but there is some kind of delay, so it a may not line small, up. Very small delay. We'll hope to keep you on top of all the action that's happening in so, the game. So if we're saying something that's a little bit behind or a little bit ahead... Please give us some grace. So we've got R2-D2. Just pushing his way through, sorry, Sir R2-D2 pushing his way through there on the last few seconds, picking up a final couple of points there. Three points there for Argentina. So we have Costello on that jammer line. Lining up for Argentina, he's going to be starting on a power jam. We have a... Four on four, pack situation. Argentina with that advantage. We have a false start for 666, the beast. We have, yes, Costello getting out, picking up lead jammer. Now picking up some points for Argentina. Rip Snorter at the front of the pack there, trying to hold him off, trying to push him to the inside. Goes down. Rip Snorter up again, chasing him out, trying to go out punt. Rip Snorter goes down in turn four there. So Rip Snorter being recycled back now. And Argentina calls off the jam. <laughs> Netherlands still yet to score. Scores 17 to 0. 26 minutes remaining on the period clock. Both teams now starting with blockers in the box. They are a three on two pack advantage to the Netherlands. And we have the little man. LP Bay on the jam line, which, which I've been informed stands for the guy. The guy, fantastic. And he is the guy. He is proving a formidable little jammer getting through, breaking out, picking up Lee Jammer. So LP Bay getting himself nice and low. We have actually had a comment that the guys don't play as low as the ladies do, but LP Bay definitely keeping himself nice it, and low. I and like the little guys. He scoots his way around, picking up another five points for a grand slam pass there. Animal for the Netherlands, not making any impact on the Netherlands score. So R2-D2 on the jam line for Argentina. Facing up against Ben Van Hurt for the Netherlands. Playing in his home venue, because he originally, he normally plays for the Crashtest Brummies. He does indeed, so Ben Van Hurt. Playing for the Netherlands, he is one of the crash test brummies from here in Birmingham. And also out on track is one of my fellow teammates, number 114, Rip Snort, who normally plays for Lincolnshire Rolling Thunder. Ben Hurt has Lee Jammer over R2-D2. He has been swiftly chased, though. R2-D2 again getting himself really low. Ben Hurt deciding the chase was too much and caused that jam off there. So even though that was the first time the Netherlands had Lee Jammer... Yep. They haven't managed to, to catch any points from that. Yeah, advantage. Argentina were able to close them down. 
So now we have number 10, Castillo, on the jam line for Argentina. Argentina still only with two blockers on the track, whereas the Netherlands now have a full set of four. And, and untitled Russian for the Netherlands. Netherlands taking that back line, trying to hold off Castillo. Untitled Russian in turn one, trying to fight his way through out the front of the pack. He's Bing. having, sorry, I was going to say, he's having quite a hard time facing just against the two Argentinian blockers and only manages to get through when one of them is sent to the penalty box for, I believe it was a direction of gameplay penalty there. So in comes Untitled Russian to try and pick up some ports for Argentina. Number 28 going to the penalty box. That's Sanchez. Four mm. points picked up there by Untitled Russian. Finally putting some scores there for the Netherlands on the board. The scores now currently stand at Argentina 22, the Netherlands four points. Argentina again playing with a depleted set of blockers on track. They are only managing to keep two out at the start of this jam. The Netherlands again happy with their full set of four. We have Ben Van Hurt on the line for the Netherlands. And Sir R2-D2 for Argentina. Official timeout being called. Of course, the clock doesn't stop it on the official timeouts. While we're on this official timeout, let's mention Farscale Skates. Their knowledge and staff represents all the facets of Roller Derby, WFTDA, USARS, MRDA, JRDA, and Bank Track. They can relate and have what you need. The largest selection on skates and gear for every woman, man, and child. It's all about you. Don't forget, you can also send us in your fantastic tweets to our Twitter account. Make sure you are sending them to hashtag MRDWC. Please don't send them to at MRDWC. We won't receive them. So hashtag MRDWC. Also, send us over your photos. If you've got Instagram, hit us up on Instagram as well. Uh, we've got... Um, yeah, we have an Instagram account, and it is uh, MRDWC on Instagram. So there's been quite a few pictures popping up. They have indeed. I've seen a couple coming through. If you send them through to us, there is the possibility they may even make it through onto the feed. So please send over your Instagram pictures. I know my beard got voted fifth best beard. It's got to be behind Badger Badger. He is yeah. definitely in the lead. For yeah, me. I got. I, I was currently at five. 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 Yeah, which isn't too bad because I haven't five. been growing my beard for a very long time. <laughs> so mine, mine didn't even make the top ten. Still taking a, a little bit of time here. The referee's just sorting out a few details. If we find out what they are, we will certainly let you know. Of course, in the uh, quad skate shop penalty box, we have two Argentinian blockers sitting down. Quad skates. Scott, quad skate shop, one of the main sponsors here at the World Cup. So we're ready to get back underway after the official timeout. Ben Hurt just playing around with Sir R2-D2. Ben Hurt trying to find his way through. R2-D2 with four Ar Netherlands blockers. Ben Hurt gets around that inside line out of turn one. Picks up Lee Jammer. And R2-D2. Sir R2-D2. Sir R2-D2. Breaking the pack as well. Ben Hurt making full use of that inside line. Bouncing off the second blocker. Only the two blockers again on track. Picking up a full ream of points before calling it off. So a strong start from Argentina, but the Netherlands coming back now. Scores huh? currently stand at eight to the Netherlands, 22 to Argentina. We have 19 minutes remaining on the period clock.
Oh, big Help. thank you to Gemma on the Twitter feed who's saying it's the best tournament feed she's ever seen. So well done to all of the announcers who, who have taken part over the tournament so far. We've still got two more days and obviously this bout here to carry on announcing. And those, those cheers you can hear is for the awesome little LP Bay breaking through, broke out of turn two. Got Lee Jammer for Argentina now coming up to the Netherlands blockers in turn three, fighting his way through. He just looks tiny compared. He's du ducking under the other player's knees to get around. This is how low he's actually getting to get around the uh, Netherlands blockers. He's proving not to underestimate the little guys. Takes a look back, sees the Netherlands jammer coming back. He's not going to risk losing any points. But a good scoring pass for El Pibe. OK, we have noticed we have lost uh, number 505 for Team Netherlands, Roland Reckless. He has actually removed uh, the majority of his equipment and left the track. We're just trying to find out what has happened. We're not sure if he's injured and he's taken himself out of the game. Uh, but as soon as we find out, we will let you know. Ghost on Twitter sending love to London Roller Girls Rec League, who are all watching. She loves you all. Uh, reckless he just he just indicated to me that his ribs okay. so I'm guessing he took a hefty hit to his ribs and didn't want to risk injuring himself anymore not quite sure what happened there I think we had a player going went out of bounds and picked up I don't know we looked like he was hooked on someone's t-shirt or something We've got Chispita, the jammer for Argentina, has made his way around. He's trying to fight his way through the remaining Argentinian blockers. Double checking with the referee that he is still in play, having a look at his bench as well. He's still going though, the Netherlands on their way back round. Like to give a big shout out to Green Monster Roller Sports. They are all new. Visit them today on greenmonster.com. And you can get them from Fast Girl Skate, serving skaters of all shapes and sizes since 2007. Of course, the track we're on today is the Roller Derby City track. It is indeed. Roller Derby City is sponsoring this track, and we have Quad, uh, quad Skate Shop sponsoring the penalty box. I have to put my teeth back in for that one. We have Argentina, Lee Jammer, uh, Sir Artu picking up that title, but being closely followed by the Netherlands Jammer, Jimmy Fellon. I cannot believe that it is his first set of bouts today. He played his first ever bout today, Jimmy Fellon for, our, uh, for the Netherlands. Uh, I think that's untitled Russian. Oh, is it? I do apologize. The jamming for the Netherlands. Yep, that's one F. I do That's untitled. <laughs> My terrible eyesight. Untitled Russian well, the, not playing the, his The lighting bounce. in here is quite hard <laughs> to, to see some of the numbers when they're at certain angles. The numbers just seem to disappear into the backs of the shirts. LP base, I think, up on the jam line for Argentina up against Ben but Van Hurt. It is Ben Van Hurt back up on the jam line for the Netherlands. Uh, both teams on a heavily depleted pack here. Two blockers only for each. Let's see how the jammers face up against the smaller amount of blockers. Ben Van Hurt trying to play as L a blocker. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. El Pibe is a pleasure to watch, just nipping his way through. Ben Van Hurt trying to force it to the outside. So ben Van Hurt forcing El Pibe to pull off the jam. Receiving a lot of praise from the crowd. I think both jammers there got getting a lot of crowd support. Um, it's always fantastic when both jammers break at about the same time and you've got that little fight off action happening there. We have number two, Animal, on the jam line for the Netherlands. Up against number 10, Chispita for Team Argentina. Chispita trying to work his way through that inside line. Tries to take the outside, but is brought down and out. And in the meantime, Animal sneaks through, picking so, up Lee Jammer. Yeah, so the Netherlands with Lee Jam, but Chispita hot on the heels, trying to catch up. Ripsnort are now out of the penalty box and trying to join his teammates back out on track three to oh, two. Oh, 
fantastic blocking work there. It's almost as if the jammers and the blockers had that hive mind that everybody talks about in Derby. And they just pushed all of Team Argentina's blockers off to the outside line whilst their jammers snook up the inside nice and easy and called it off. Some brilliant blocking there from Team Netherlands. We have Ben Van Hurt back on the jammer line for the Netherlands. Up against El Pibe. So we have a team timeout here being called by Team Argentina. Obviously Again, the clock doesn't stop. The tock, yeah, the clock does not stop. I don't know what the I don't know what the tock is. It ticks and it tocks like a clock. Yeah, but it doesn't stop. But it doesn't stop. <laughs> so a team timeout here for Argentina. In that time, let me please state to you that if you are enjoying listening, as a few people have sent in a few tweets to us, thank you ever so much. But please do also drop us a few pounds, quid, dollars, lotti. Um, any dollars, Australian or otherwise, um, using the link on the broadcast page. This donation is split 50-50 between us and the team's travel funds. So if you want to support your team and support us for bringing you this feed, please do send a donation to us there. Because we haven't seen many pivot line starts and the pivot line is sponsored by GB EMS, the lovely ladies and gentlemen here providing an amazing emergency service. Um, they are the only sort of uh, emergency service in the UK that are accredited by the UK RDA. They're approved by the UK RDA. That is true. We did see them in uh, full action, sadly, in the Ireland game earlier. Yeah. They, they were called in in action. Um, again, as soon as we find out any details for the injured skater, we will be able to let you know. Um, and, of course, GB EMS. They have amazing skate derby names, too. If you've ever seen them on track, check out their derby names. But one amazing little skate name going around the crack is LP Bay, trying to get through, but Ben Van Hurt gets out to pick up that lead down. LP Bay with an apex jump out of turn three. Phenomenal agility from the little guy from Argentina. But Ben Hur getting those points. Wow. That was a spectacular sight for uh, any photographer. Beautiful two legs up in the air. I mean, we see the taller guys leaping uh, uh, the apexes with, with relative ease. I mean, we've seen some guys from the States. We've seen guys from Australia. Yeah. Reaper, he loves his apex jumps. They're all, all of the, all of the guys have been really, really lanky. This yes. is a little tiny guy leaping a big gap off of that apex there. He did. He got plenty of height on it as well. We have number one F, untitled Russian, back on the jam line for the Netherlands, pushing his way now at the front against a three wall of Argentina, forcing his way through and getting lead jammer. And Pesquita for Argentina, following him close behind. <laughs> Jammers coming, making their way back round to the pack now. Clever tactical call off there by Untitled Russian, just swinging his hips around to try and pick up the points before he calls it off, making sure Chispita could not pick up any points on that. Chispita's jam. going to the penalty box, picking up a an illegal procedure for making contact after the final whistle for that oh jam had been blown. So the Netherlands are going to be starting on a power jam. Scores currently stand at Argentina 41 and the Netherlands 24. So the Netherlands really want this power jam right now. Uh, let's see if their jammer, Ben Van Hurt, can pick up and maximise their score, di uh, score difference. Bring that down. Oh, he has picked up a track put there and is going to be making his way to the penalty box. So it's Ben Hurt picking up that track up for the Netherlands. His Peter is going to be coming out of that penalty box as soon as he sits down. Ooh, just had to clear my throat there. And we've got Chispita back on track. Uh, we've had some movement around on the track by the blockers, all of them trying to get that back wall. And uh, Chispita just pushes way through and manages to break out. And picks up Lee Jammer picking as up well. Lee Jammer from the penalty box. Because Bren Hurt hadn't picked up Lee before he got out of the pack. Ben Hurt has now made his way through, made his initial pass too. He is not Lee Jammer, just Peter. Scoring oh. four points there before calling it off from the floor. So Argentina managing to sneak a few more points there past the Netherlands on that uh, power jam switches. We have Animal on the jam line for the Netherlands. And Sir, RTD2 
for Argentina. Four on four, empty penalty box. The penalty box that is sponsored by Quad Skate Shop. And of course, this is the men's roller derby World Cup. It is indeed. And we have the men's roller derby association that are wishing all the teams here the best of luck in the first men's roller derby World Cup to happen. Animal for the Netherlands picking up Lee Jammer, coming, making his way back around now, trying to pick up some points. Passing, one, two, two players taken down to the floor. Did he pick up that third point? He did indeed. So a few more added there to uh, Team Netherlands score. Scores now at Netherlands 27, Argentina 45. We have Ben Van Hurt on the jammer line for the Netherlands up against Chris Vita for Team Argentina. We have only 10, sorry, 10, eight and a half minutes left on the period clock. Just Peter dodging his way up the toe on his toe stops up that inside line, picking up lead jammer quite easily. Ben Van Hurt being held back in the pack, uh, trying to find his blockers to dodge and duck his way through, making holes in those walls that Argentina are holding up. And in comes Gaspita on a scoring pass coming up against Ripsnort, who tries to force him to the inside. Gaspita calls it off, stopping Ben Van Hurt from picking up any points for the Netherlands. Argentina still with that lead. Seven, just over seven minutes remaining on the period clock in the last game today. Yeah, we'd like to <laughs> thank you all for sticking with us throughout uh, today, especially those of you who have been watching from uh, different countries with, with early time zones. Thank you all for keeping tuned to the Men's Roller Derby World Cup. Send in your Twitters so that we can see what you've been getting up to and who you've been watching. And that is Sir R2-D2 out for Argentina with lead jammer. Argentina's uh, jammer now making his way back through up against that. Netherlands three wall breaking them apart and sneaking his way through. As the Netherlands jammer, number two, Animal, knocked to the inside line and recycled all the way back the inside line by Argentina's so R2, R2 D2 picking up some more points there on that pass. And Animal still to complete this pass, but as I say, that does it out of turn one as R2 D2 comes in for another scoring pass for Argentina. Force to the inside. Chris Peter does have Lee Jammer. He's not calling it off at the moment. No, this is allowing Animal to pick up a few more points uh, for the Team Netherlands. Chris Peter finally calls off that jam. Netherlands being able to maximise on that late call-off and taking their score up to 35 points to Argentina's 61. Wow, the little guy, El Pibe, <laughs> on the jam line for he's Argentina. Got a, he's got a fan in you already. Yes, <laughs> he had a fan from that first game from, in me. And for the Netherlands, it's Ben Van Hurt. LP Bay trying to fight his way through, breaks, almost just like ducks under everyone's arms, gets through, gets out, picks up Lee Jammer, Ben Van Hurt being recycled all the way back to the start of turn one as LP Bay comes in for a scoring pass, knocked down to the inside. That's by the Rip Snorter who managed to hold him down and has now recycled LP Bay back, LP Bay back on his feet, pushing his way through up that inside line and forcing all of the uh, the Netherlands team to move out of his way. Ben Van Hurt still stuck behind the Argentinian three wall. He manages to split them apart and makes his way around to the front, but he's once again being chased down, held back there by Argentinian's last line of defence. And LP base, sorry, LP <laughs> base snuck his way around and picked up a few more points in the meantime. Yeah, Rips not had knocked him to the outside and then try to recycle him. 
I'm sort of not happy. Wanted to try and get a, a cut track on him, I think, but he, he, he definitely came in behind all the correct blockers he needed to. Serratu D2 on that jam line for Argentina. And entitled Russian on the line for the Netherlands. Four to three blocker advantage to the Netherlands. And Sarah R2D2 takes that outside line out of turn one, picks up the lead. Jammer, an untitled Russian being held in that pack by Argentina. In comes Sarah R2D2. Trying to find his way through at the front, gets out for a five point pass. And we have two Netherlands blockers going. Was that two or one? I saw two go off track. I think one. It's the uh, Netherlands oh, Jammer. Oh, Netherlands Jammer. So, untitled Russian has been sent off. So, Argentina are on a power jam. They're going to take advantage of this. Currently, stand, their score is currently standing. 80 to 35. A heavy hit there on Sir R2D2, and he is fighting his way through. Still with a blocker advantage. But Argentina on a power jam. Heavy hit. Clearing the way through for Sir RTD2. Yeah, some brilliant blocking there, offensive blocking. It seems like the whole team just decided to pick one player each and took them down or out. Nice, easy pass there for Sir R2. And he comes again for another scoring pass. Block is coming in to help him out. And a high scoring pass there for uh, Argentina. They'll pick up quite a few points and creep their lead away from the Netherlands. Scores now stand at 90 to Argentina, 35 to the Netherlands. Just two minutes remaining on that period clock. It is indeed, and this jam is brought to you by Roller Derby City, Europe's largest supplier of Roller Derby kit and merch. Check them out. Of course, if you want to play Roller Derby, you could skate the Blue Streak with fast scale skates. Could Designers indeed. of the Blue Streak boot with unparalleled comfort and fit, style and performance. Uh, here he is, the little guy, LP Bay. <laughs> Weaving his way through. Trying to fight his way through that inside line. And he Breaks does. out. Nice and low again, ducking underneath the hips of the uh, Netherlands blockers. The Netherlands blockers all quite tall in this lineup. LP Bay using that to his advantage and just getting underneath them in his natural stance. Talking about the Netherlands blockers, but the Netherlands jammer going to the quad skate shop, penalty box, picking up a cut major, putting on Argentina on a, yet another power jam with an amazing little jammer. That is LP Bay. Rips not again to the penalty box. Picking up a blocking out of bounds, LP Bay. Coming into turn four, breaks the pack for a five point pass ground slam. And that's the end of that jam called. We have had quite a few skaters making their way to the quad skate shop penalty box. Let me tell you a little bit more about them. They are Europe's original brick and mortar roller derby equipment supplier. Uh, Quad Roller Skate Shop have the best selection and most stock of any store on the continent. With excellent consultation services, only a fellow skater could provide. We've got all your needs covered. We love this game. They're also sponsoring the track opposite us, which is not in use again tonight, but will be on again tomorrow. So, because Peter on the jam line for Argentina, and that is... Rudy Cartel going to the penalty box at the end of that jam. I believe oh. that is the end of the game. It got called there. Argentina picked up lead, called it straight away, knowing that they had run down the clock as much as they needed to. The unofficial think... scores are Argentina 105 and the Netherlands 35.
Argentina very clearly happy with this victory. I mean, to come all this way to compete in the World Cup. Yep, they will now be facing France tomorrow. So uh, Argentina will play France and uh, the Netherlands will be playing either Sweden or Finland in tomorrow's games. So a fantastic game there. I know they both teams had a lot to play for. Argentina playing up against France. I wonder how that's going to uh, sit well with them. I know we, uh, we've been seeing Argentina facing up against some really strong opposition and they've done themselves absolutely proud in the game here today against the Netherlands. I mean, they're going out. They're, it's a similar story like with Argentina and Japan coming with a very small roster. And each game they've played, they've gotten better and better and better. And this just proved how much they've improved over just one day. Indeed. So it's been amazing to watch, and I'm going to re really be looking forward to the Argentina game tomorrow. Yes, Argentina-France playing tomorrow, France and Argentina. So I think that's just about us wrapping it up for tonight's activities. Thank you all for watching the Roller Derby City track. We are going to be handing you back over to the studio for some more details on tomorrow's game. And we'll be back tomorrow. Of the first ever Men's Roller Derby World Cup uh, coming to you live here from uh, not so sunny anymore Birmingham because we've uh, reached night time over here. Um, with me just to uh, help me wrap up the end of the day, we've got Andy who is one of our analysts uh, in-house here. Um, so, uh, Andy, if you could just pick out for me a couple of your highlight bouts of the day. What do you think are the really big bouts for you today? Well, I think the, uh, obviously the, the team favourites, the crowd favourites today have been uh, in Japan. Um, the tournament just really took off when they played Scotland. Um, they brought everything to the track. They wanted to represent Japan, bring roller derby to the, the Far East, and I think they did it. They, they just set the, the tournament alight. Every game has been fabulous that they've been in. Uh, they've been a real credit to the nation and to the tournament. Uh, equally, I think Argentina have been fabulous. Um, you've just seen them uh, get through to the, the next round uh, just by beating uh, the Netherlands there. They've been fabulous. I think they've got some really great jammers. El Pibe was really good. Um, I think the USA against Wales was a fabulous game. Um, uh, when finally people start, started taking some points off the USA, I think that was great for the tournament. I think it shows that they are potentially vulnerable especially when they're getting some of the bigger teams. Um, I think we've got uh, Scotland and Belgium um, was a great game. Um, there's been fabulous atmosphere throughout. Great derby and some, some great derby from people that you wouldn't expect. Yeah, most definitely. I think uh, you've mentioned there already um, Team Japan. You've mentioned Team Argentina. Both teams that came here quite short-handed. Both teams that came here with a relatively small amount of experience. But both teams that have really made their mark on the global stage. And that's just day one of the event so far. Uh, coming up tomorrow, I know that at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, we've got ourselves a little expo bout. Um, some of you will have had a look, no doubt, at your uh, various tables at home. And you'll have seen that the, um, the guys in one of the groups have only actually had two bouts. You can see See there, USA, Wales and Finland up in the top left-hand corner, the red group. They had a reduced group because we had one of our teams sadly couldn't make it. So uh, to make up for that, tomorrow at 9 o'clock, and it will be available live on the stream, you will be able to watch uh, a mixed couple of teams, which are basically USA and friends versus Wales and Finland and their mates. Uh, so it sounds like a gang fight, but uh, will probably hopefully be a little bit more fun and have slightly less more blood. Um, after that, what's our first part of the day tomorrow, Andy? First part of the day tomorrow is um, uh, crowd favourites, Japan, um, playing Ireland. Ireland have had a great tournament. They've been really unlucky. Um, they've played some great derby. Um, it's going to be a fabulous bout to see. If you haven't seen Team Japan uh, so far, you need to check them out. They are what this tournament is all about. Um, to give you an idea, after their first bout, all their merch sold out in 20 minutes. If you want to do men's roller derby in Japan, you can't, because everyone who plays it is here. Um, so you need to check out Japan. Uh, they're the, the, the talking point of the organiser of the tournament today against Ireland. That's at 10 o'clock on the Robert Derby City track. Um, later on the day, we also then have England will play um, uh, the Australians. Um, Ashes series uh, later on to, uh, in, in the course of the day. Uh, we've got France against Argentina, which is going to be a great matchup. Argentina have been great today. Yeah. Uh, and of course, we've got the big guns, the USA uh, playing um, uh, Scotland tomorrow. That's going to be a great matchup. And we've got Canada against Wales. And I think uh, out of those groups there, you're going to see the winner of the tournament.
And there you have it, the winner of the tournament coming up in those groups. If you want to stay in contact with us or in touch and make sure you're up to date on all of the stuff happening, obviously, as you can do now, you can tune into the stream. It's on live.mrdwc.com. Uh, you can also get in touch with us on Twitter. Uh, you can follow our main Twitter page, which will have all the big updates like score updates and things like that. That's men's RDWC. You can also get either of the track action, which will have up-to-date score play-by-play. -play. Uh, you can go over to at MRDWC QSS track, which is the quad skate shop track, and you can go to at MRDWC RDC track, which is the Roller Derby City track. You also get in contact with us on Facebook, and we would really, really love it if you would take photos of yourselves enjoying the World Cup at home, or indeed if you're in the crowd and listening, um, and post those up on our Instagram as well. That's MRDWC on Instagram, so you can get in touch with us, and those may even make it as far as this very, very broadcast. So. Thank you very, very much for tuning in today. We're really looking forward to day two tomorrow. Just a reminder, the expo starts at 0900, 9 o'clock GMT. And the first bout, Ireland versus Japan, starts at 10 o'clock, 10 GMT. Thanks very much for being with us. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the studio again tomorrow.